assalamu alaikum friends welcome to my channel and in this tutorial uh, i will walk you through the step by step process of performing network analysis tool in rgis so here's the three things that are compulsory to perform a network analysis tool uh, the first one is speed limit that uh, and time used and length of each line segment uh, so let's see that how can you manage and uh, organize your data just like this so first of all why we need a network analysis tool uh, actually it helps to analyze the interconnected features such as road street and pipelines it solves complex routing problems or location allocation problems so here's these are the tools and analysis that are that have been provided by a network analysis so we will perform uh, all of these analysis one by one but in this tutorial we will see that how can you uh, manage and create uh, data for your network analysis and at the end we will create a network data set layer so let's see that what are the prerequisites and stipulations that are required to perform network analysis tool so first of all you need a spatial data and that will be the line feature they can be road stream river and each line feature must be connected with other segment of line and if you have a uh, high altitude then you should have uh, the elevation data of that area so these type of spatial data these lines are actually representing the roads networks and each line feature is interconnected with other line feature and now we you need a attribute data that i have told first in this video that you need three characteristics travel time that how much time is required to cover one segment of the road and length of that segment of the road in mile and speed distance that maximum speed allowed on that particular segment of the road so let's see that how can you uh, create a data just like this so okay here's the I have the road network of Pakistan and before performing your analysis and managing your attribute table just like that make sure that uh, your data frame properties and its coordinate system should be on projected coordinate system and your shapefile uh, coordinate system should be converted into projected coordinate system instead of geographic coordinate system so let's go to its attribute table and see that i have nothing over here so how can we add speed limit and uh, length and how much time is required to uh, cover this segment of this road so go to just go to add field and say that length in mile right click over here and go to calculate geometry and select mile and okay okay make sure that you have unselect the feature and then again go to calculate geometry and select the mile and okay now it calculate all the uh, length of the roads and now you need a speed so for speed limit uh, we need organized data or surveyed data that have the exact uh, value of speed that this road allow maximum uh, uh, 25 kilometer per hour or uh, 60 kilometer per hour of speed on its uh, segment so here i don't have a survey or uh, organized data on these roads so i you can also assume that each road allow to uh, allow to uh, to have 60 km per hour speed on it so just go to add field and say speed but don't worry in these all tutorials we will perform our analysis on organized data that have the speed of each like uh, line segment and i will also provide you the data for your uh, for your practice and speed and double okay now go to field calculator make sure that you 
uncheck all the selections and field calculator and let's say that each line feature allows 60 km per hour of speed on it so it will calculate all the speeds and now you need uh, another field that will show the time how much time is required to cover the segment of the road and it will be in R double okay now go to its calculator sorry go to its calculator and here length divided by speed and okay now here all the roads required this or this time to cover that segment of the road so by doing this you can organize your data for performing a network analysis if you don't have the surveyed and organized data so let's see that on which data we will perform our analysis okay here's uh, we will perform our analysis on this data set and let's go to its attribute table and over here you can see that here we have the speed of each line segment 65 over here and then 25 km per hour here and time taken drive time in R and then length of each segment so if you want to download this data uh, you can check the description box but this is a huge data set so i don't want to make it uh, too complex so we will perform our analysis on only this area for your understanding and for your ease so you can also perform your analysis on this data set because uh, the requirement of for performing a network analysis tool is also available over here but if you have uh, managed your data set just like this and still you are unable to perform a network analysis on your line feature then uh, there is a error in your line feature uh, that they are not uh, completely and accurately interconnected with each other okay now so, we will make a network data set of this layer so uh, before performing any analysis of network analysis you need a network data set on your line feature so here you can just simply go to your shape file make a right click over here and then new network data set just click it and here you can give a name to your network data set i will go with the default name and then next and then next next if you have an elevation value then you can play with this one but i don't have this area on high altitude then next these are the attributes that will come after every uh, root analysis network analysis and then next and if you want to get the directions that turn right and turn left after uh, one 100 meter or 200 meter just like this direction then you can check it yes but i don't want this and then go finish yes okay now here this is we have just created a network data set on our line feature and here's the dots that are representing representing the starting and ending position of each line segment and the there is a edges that are actually our line features so we will perform our all analysis on this data set on this network data set so in this tutorial uh, you will see that how can you manage and create your own network data set for performing the further analysis and in the next video we will perform that how can you find a shortest and a quickest route between two same points and there is a huge difference between a shortest and a quickest route in network analysis so we'll see you again take care Allah Hafiz.